Hey, it's me again. I'm going to do another reading because my intuition wants to talk to me again. Um, so I'm going to be using the Archangel Michael Oracle because I still, I need protection. Like, I'm going to need protection for another week or so until I'm guided to just do a regular reading. But right now, I need protection bad because I'm still getting attacked. They haven't stopped. And um, I'm at a point where it's like, okay, no, no more warnings. I'm done. Enough of this. Enough. <laughs> Enough of this stupid shit. Like, seriously, like, you don't stop. I, I get no peace. Nothing. It's conflict after conflict after conflict. Struggle after struggle after struggle. It's like nothing. It's like I don't get a break from this. And I haven't even, I haven't even done anything. So they're attacking an innocent person just because they hate them. And just because they don't like the destiny that they see. They don't like that they're going to end and a different future is going to happen. And they're not going to get away with what they're doing, which is evil. Yeah, that's what it is. They don't like the fact that um, they're no longer going to get away with what they're doing. And they're going to have to be held accountable for any actions that will, will um, cause pain to others. They don't like that. Yeah, so basically the good life is over for them. That means that suffering is going to stop. So all the people that they hurt and cause pain to and lied to, to get advantage of all of that, all the innocent people that they hurt on purpose, for no reason, they're going to get um, vindicated. Justice will be served. And they don't like that. Because that means that they don't get to bully anymore. They don't, go, they don't get to go after someone that they think is weak. So yeah, basically their good life is over and they don't like that. And it just shows you like, like how far they have gone. Like how far they went. How far they pushed that button. That they basically pushed it way too far. It's like they, would, they were they're so over the limit that they are beyond the limit. They're they're like they're they're like they're like maxed out. They're so beyond the limit that they're negative. They maxed out and they like they like maxed out the limit. And so God is like, okay, I've had enough of this. No, enough. All right, time to destroy these these beings because no, 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 we went too far with this. Yep. Yep, so the wrath is here. And um, those demons will be destroyed. They will no longer be able to exist. They'll be replaced with something better. And um, these victims who haven't done anything will be redeemed. And it's going to be a different kind of life. Yep. Yep. And that's why these demons, these beings don't like that because they don't get to get away with anything anymore. Yep. It's like, uh, it's like hearing like, oh, you, slavery is illegal? What? You mean we're not allowed to own people anymore? Yeah, it's over. It's like that. People are free. So you don't get to own people anymore and treat them like shit. Treat them, treat them like property. Do whatever you want and think that's your right to do that. It's not. <laughs> it's like, well, what if you were treated like that? And no, it's like, it's one-sided. They can't imagine being treated like that, but they'll go ahead and treat someone like that. <laughs> that's how you know, like, oh, so it's okay for you to treat people like shit, but nobody can treat you like that. Okay, got it. Yeah. So... Yeah, it's like the time has come. It's like enough of this. It's like, no. It's time for him to go.
this arc in here, my phone is saying. Be gentle with yourself. Detach from the situation. Ooh. This is your life's purpose and sense of humor. All right. So be, be gentle with yourself. Detach from the situation. This is your life's purpose and sense of humor. So th those are the messages um, from Archangel Michael. And bottom of the deck is shield yourself. Yeah. Protect yourself. All right. Let me go ahead and um, put this away. And then um, yeah, shield yourself. Oh, detach from the situation. No, you know what? Yeah, be gentle with yourself. Um, all right, that's what I'm. This is what I'm getting. Okay. All right. And then I'm gonna go ahead and get the messages from the Light Seers Oracle. No, no, Light Seers Tarot. Ooh, the sun, number 19. So that was the last card that I saw when I used this deck. Page of Swords. Yeah, uh, this needs to be reversed for now. Yeah. So because it's reversed, that means it's blocked. So whoever knows what this means, that means that they're blocked. They can't do that anymore. Six of Pentacles. You know, Wands. Ooh, number five. Keeper of the Soul or the Hair Font. So if you're a Taurus, this is your card. And Six of Pentacles again. So um, what are the messages that I need to hear at this time? Ooh, the devil in reverse. What else? Eight of Cups. Wow. Walking away from a toxic situation. Okay. Knight of Swords and Ten of Wands reversed. All right, so it must be a reversal because, yeah, it's taking a long time to come out. All 
And a card just said it tried to come out and it got blocked. So, yep. That was a lie. Okay. So we have, ooh, Ten of Cups. Yeah, so there's somebody out there that doesn't want to see this or hear this. <laughs> and then you have Ace of, what? Ace of Swords, that's the truth. <sighs> that's the truth. So there's somebody, man, a hater. Yeah, that would explain all that negative energy. So there's somebody that doesn't like this. Doesn't like this. Someone being happy. Or me being happy. And when I said that's a hater, there's somebody that's not happy seeing this. That's the truth. Yep. There's somebody that's mad right now. Upset that I'm gonna get I'm gonna be happy. And I'm gonna get my wishes fulfilled. Like really? Yeah, so I'm going to clarify, uh, I'm going to use the Ace of Swords to clarify the devil. So, just from these cards, um, there's a message here. And I'm going to go ahead and see what that message is. Alright. So, the devil reversed is um, the source of positivity. Eight of Cups is walking away. No of Swords is um, thinking and acting. And the Nine of Swords become, becomes the King of Swords, and the King of Swords becomes the Emperor. So that's one of the sides of the Emperor. Um, Ten of Wands reverse is release, and Ten of Cups is a happy ending. So, okay. So in order for her, because I'm seeing a woman, in order for her, to see things differently, she had to walk away from a toxic toxic situation. So she knew that um, that source of negativity came from the devil. In order for her to see things differently, that devil had to be reversed. So now that the devil is reversed, um, he goes from the source of negativity to the source of positivity. And now she's able to see that, yeah, she needs to think before she shacks. She needs to release her burdens. And if she's able to release her burdens, then she will get the happy ending. That's what I'm getting. And I'm going to clarify devil reversed, eight of cups, nine of swords, ten of wands reversed, and ten of cups. So the devil reversed is clarified by the ace of swords. What are the eight of cups? Queen of Pentacles. Why the Knight of Swords? Ooh, another Cups. And then you have five of Pentacles reversed. Ooh. And then why are the Ten of Cups? Yeah, this is very responsive too. This deck is very responsive. Queen of Wands. All right. One of the deck is High Priestess number two. Oh my God! Look at that High Priestess. All right. I'm gonna clarify the Ace of Swords, Queen of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, Five of Pentacles in reverse. And Queen of Wands. So why are they Ace of Swords? Five of Wands reversed. And Seven of Swords reversed to clarify the Queen of Pentacles. Alright, why are the Knight of Cups?
Okay. The Tower. Oh my God. So that is Aries energy. So if you're in Aries, this is your card. The Tower. And um, also, if you're a Capricorn, this is your card. But it's reversed. So that means it's the source of positivity. And Five of Pentacles reversed is clarified by, ooh, the world, completion. And the Queen of Wands is clarified by the Hanged Man, number 12. So if you're Pisces, this is your card. And the Queen of Wands is a Leo. The Nine of Cups is going to be the King of Cups, and the King of Cups is going to be an Emperor. Same with the Knight of Swords. Um, he's going to be a King of Swords, and the King of Swords will be an Emperor. And the Queen of Pentacles is a Taurus, and she's going to be an Empress. So, what does my intuition think about this? Let me move these to make some room. Yeah, what does my intuition think about this? Oh, Seven of Pentacles reverse. So, she knows. She knows whether or not something is worth investing in. What does his intuition think about this? Oh, oh, that was strong. Wow, those cards just flew out. Yeah, so this emperor is very powerful very powerful um and he is mad and that's what happens when you piss off the emperor <laughs> you will see his wrath oh my god okay you know what king of pentacles came out and that matches the queen of pentacles so they match look at that queen and King of Pentacles. So you have um, a Taurus, and you have a Capricorn. You have a Matriarch and a Patriarch. So they make great parents. Mother figure, father figure. They're both Earth signs. And she's going to be an Empress, and he's going to be an Emperor. So that's what that's what his intuition I can't even talk. That's what his intuition thinks about this. Alright. What does her intuition think about this? Ooh. You saw that, right? Two cards flew out. <gasps> the Empress! She's here in the Six of Wands. Oh my god, look at that. The Empress. I wanted to know what the Empress thinks of this, and then she came out, the Empress. <laughs> and this is what she's saying. You're going to be victorious. <laughs> All right, I'll get back to that. Okay. So, let's see. I'm going to say he. Because you have a male there. So, I'll, I'll say he. Unless I'm guided to say she or they. Alright. 
So he knows that when the devil is reversed, that he's the source of positivity. And that's the truth with the Ace of Swords. Um, he's dealt with conflict before, but that's reversed. So five of wands reversed is peace. He knows that she walked away from a toxic situation. He knows that uh, his match is the Queen of Pentacles. And um, he knows that somebody's still being sneaky. And they think they get away, get, they're going to get away with it. And they're not. And he has seen that before. He's seen sneaky people before and he has seen sneaky behavior. So he's able to spot it right away. Because this person is not honest about anything. And when the Seven of Swords is reversed, yep, that means honesty. So this person is honest. And um, they're not, so yeah, so he thinks before he acts. He's also very romantic <laughs> with the Knight of Cups. And um, he's able to cause a tower to someone. He's also undergoing a tower. They both are. So they're both undergoing changes. He and his match are undergoing through changes. Um, he has released burdens. He used to carry them before, but now he's releasing them. And um, he is no longer going to be left in the cold or go through hardship. So Five of Pentacles reverse is abundance. And um, he's going to complete this journey. So you go from zero the fool to 21 the world. Wait, hang on. The wheel. I thought I said the world. So the, yeah, so things are going to go in his favor with the Wheel of Fortune. And yeah, he's going to get his happy ending. His match is the Queen of Wands. <laughs> and he has surrendered to the Divine. And he has also had a change of perspective. So that's Pisces energy. And um, this is what the intuitions are saying. So my intuition is saying that um, when Seven of Pentacles is reversed, um, I went from wondering to knowing. So yeah, I know that this investment is worth it. And I also know when something is not worth it. And when it's not worth it, I walk away from it. When it is worth it, I keep going. And his intuition knows that his match is the Queen of Pentacles. <laughs> yep. And the Empress <laughs> showed up. I wanted to know what she thinks of this whole thing. And she showed up as the Empress because she's the Empress. She's number three. She's the Divine Feminine and her match is the Emperor. The Divine Masculine. And um, she's saying that you're going to come out of this the winner. You're going to be victorious with the six of ones. Yep, that's what she's saying. And, um, okay, one more card. And then I'm going to end this reading. So what do you want to say before I end this reading? Six of Pentacles. Very nice. And then bottom of the deck is Ten of Pentacles. Look at that. Ten of Pentacles. Abundance. Legacy. Wow. All right. And then, so Six of Pentacles is an equal give and take. That's really good. Yep, that's really positive. Um, Having said that, I hope that I helped you in some way. And I will talk to you again soon.